Remakes can stir up mixed emotions. On one hand, the idea of revisiting a beloved childhood game with fresh direction can be thrilling. On the other, it can spark fear and hesitation. As technology advances and time passes, we've seen more and more remakes in recent years, and they tend to polarize opinions, either receiving high praise or strong criticism, with very little middle ground. Persona 3 Reload, which is a highly anticipated remake of the classic Persona 3, is no exception to this trend. While it does bring some some welcomed updates and improvements, it also leaves out key elements, making it a bit of a mixed bag. In Persona 3 Reload, you follow the story of the protagonist, now named Makoto Yuki, as he has just transferred to Gekoken High on Tetsumi Port Island. Things do end up taking a strange turn when he discovers the existence of what is known as the Dark Hour, a mysterious time that occurs at midnight when the sky turns an eerie green and people without special abilities become encased in coffins until it passes. During this time, dangerous creatures known as shadows roam around, and the main setting, a tower that serves as a school during the day known as Tartarus, becomes a hub for these supernatural events. As a protagonist gains the power to summon personas and joins a group called Seas, the story unfolds with a growing cast of characters and intertwining narratives. The remake of Persona 3 aims to not only retell the original story, but also provide more depth to the characters and plot points. In these aspects, it succeeds quite well. For example, in the original release of Persona 3, the male protagonist didn't have much interaction with the male characters due to the absence of social links, which has become a feature in modern Persona releases that deepens relationships between the cast. To address this, the remake introduces numerous new scenes where you can spend one-on-one -on -one time with the characters, engaging in various activities such as watching movies, cooking, reading, or tending to the garden with your fellow C's members. These additions not only give each character more screen time, but also offer practical gameplay benefits in the form of new abilities. There's also a shared computer in the dorm's lounge that can be used during the night. This ends up addressing a criticism of the original game where players had little to do during that time. These changes are generally positive and enhance the main story. However, it's important to note that the main plot of Persona 3 Reload remains largely unchanged from the original, so if you're expecting significant alterations to the central story, you might be disappointed here. Nevertheless, the remake adds new scenes that provide deeper insights and introspection into the characters and the world that they inhabit. That you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi, you're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! The English voice cast for the remake has stirred some debate amongst fans. The original voices of Persona 3's characters have become so iconic, though not always for the right reasons. The new cast does a commendable job, especially with the C's characters, as long as you approach this with an open mind and don't expect identical performances to the 2006 version. The addition of full voice acting for social link scenes adds depth to the character interactions and enhances the overall experience. In terms of presentation and audio, Persona 3 Reload excels. While some fans may miss the anime scenes from the original, the new ones offer a fresh take on this experience. The in-game engine scenes featuring updated character models and environments are visually impressive. The soundtrack with its new arrangement and songs bring a refreshing twist to the beloved tunes. Although again, like anything else in this release, hardcore fans might have mixed feelings. Now, let's talk about the gameplay changes. Persona 3 Reload departs from the mechanics of its predecessors and adopts elements similar to Persona 5. Players can now use a mechanic called Shift, which is akin to the Baton Pass feature from Persona 5. Additionally, every character has special moves called Thurgies, each with their own gauge filled differently depending on the character. For instance, the protagonist can earn numerous Thurgies through specific Persona fusions, providing exciting character-specific abilities that enhance combat. However, some of these gameplay changes make Persona 3 Reload notably easier from its predecessors. For example, the fatigue mechanic present in earlier versions of P3 have been completely removed. This mechanic added depth by simulating the character's tiredness, requiring players to plan Tartarus 
rigorous expeditions and manage party members accordingly. Its removal simplifies the game and removes the element of strategic planning. The game also introduces a new rewind mechanic, allowing players to redo events before a specific time. While this feature offers convenience, it may feel like it removes the consequences of your choices, making it all feel a little easier. In terms of new elements, Persona 3 Reload introduces Twilight Fragments, which are collectibles found throughout the game world. These fragments serve as currency for healing in the Tartarus and keys for locked treasure chest, adding a passive reward system that complements gameplay. Additionally, Monad, which was previously a separate block in Tartarus, has now been integrated into the tower as a recurring challenge. Players will also find doors in the Tartarus that enable them to level up party members quickly, which can be helpful for those who want to avoid excessive grinding. The beloved requests from the fan favorite Elizabeth make a return in Persona 3 Reload, offering engaging side quests that fit well with her eccentric personality. The fusion system for creating personas remains consistent with recent entries, and the tutorial for fusions and related mechanics are now optional, making the game more accessible for newcomers and returning fans. Persona 3 Reload is a remake that brings some welcome updates in character development while staying true to the essence of the original game. It introduces gameplay changes that streamline the experience but also make the game easier. The absence of certain features, like the option to play as the female protagonist and the epilogue from Persona 3 FES, may disappoint some fans. Ultimately, Persona 3 Reload offers a fresh interpretation of the classic game but it's not exactly a replacement for the previous versions. It's a remake that caters to new players, while also providing a rewarding experience for all that play. Noisy Pixel is giving Persona 3 Reload an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. <laughs>